When C.S. Lewis converted to Christianity, he was helped greatly by Tolkien, who explained to him that myth dealt with truth and that the story of Christ was a true myth, a myth that was true, that it was indeed the Word made flesh. Christ said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Picasso said, and I'm not trying to compare the two, Picasso said, art is a lie that helps us see the truth more clearly. Surely one place where creative composition must reflect the will of the creator is in the representation of truth, emotional truth, psychological truth, and historical truth. Carolyn Forche, an American writer, said, one of the things that I believe happens when poets bear witness to historical events is that everyone they tell becomes a witness too. Everyone they tell also becomes responsible for what they have heard and what they now know. And I would like to use her words as a springboard to sing a small pocket of songs for you. Uh, they're dealing with the plight of the Baha'is of Iran, who have suffered greatly over the last 150 years, and who, even as we sit here today, are experiencing serious deprivation. In recent weeks, some 500 have lost their homes, their possessions, their chance for education, their work and livelihood. And in recent weeks, one man was executed. He was a husband and a father of four children. So it seems especially fitting and right to be a witness to their plight here and now. In the graveyards of Iran there's a perfume in the wind From seeds so harshly sown That never saw the spring And in the shadows of Iran In the wood and in the stone There's a fragrance for each one who faced a rope or gun There's lilac Lavender Jasmine Oil of roses Rosemary Remember me Sometime Lilac Lavender, jasmine, oil of roses, rosemary, remember me sometime. 